everybody and welcome to this video. Today we are going to review the Aerocost Pro Crew 1 flight bag. First of all, I want to give you a 360 view of this bag. Uh, the front, then have a look on this side, the back of the bag, and last side, and of course. A little overview over the top. So let's start with uh, this review talking a bit about the handle which is uh, a very unique feature of this uh, bag and this handle is a solid plastic and then uh, Cordura ballistic nylon on uh, on the strings and the entire bag is made of this very durable um, Cordura uh, nylon. And the handle itself is uh, equipped with this uh, quick snap feature, which allows it to be clipped together and unclipped to be open in a very simple and fast way. Uh, this uh, system might be a little bit tight to unlock the first time you try to do it but uh, it's very uh, durable stable and uh, it will be easier with a little bit of, uh, of uh, opening and closing very nice feature and it allows the bag to be open and close in just one second then the bag comes with the the shoulder strap it is a ergonomic shoulder strap with a padded top made of uh, Cordura nylon and uh, robust uh, and strong plastic both in the uh, D-ring and in the attachment points. Then let's have a look at the top and we will go all the way down to the bottom starting with this top compartment this is a high visibility coating inside and it is made for all the equipment that should be handy uh, during the flight for example uh, i don't know flashlight uh, or uh, cell phone uh, sunglasses uh, whatever and it's quite easy to find thing inside of this pocket even during the night because of the orange coating um, in my case i am carrying my high visibility vest plus other little things inside of uh, of this then let's move uh, into the main compartment all the zippers are ykk very durable and high quality zippers and the main compartment has got a wider zipper than all the other pockets but still very smooth to operate with just one end really easy to open and close and this is the main compartment you've got the bottom of the previously seen uh, pouch and then this is the inside of the of the bag there is one main big compartment where I am carrying, for example, spare batteries for my uh, Bose A20 headset, uh, some uh, charging cables and other electronic gear in this holder. Then I've got a mini umbrella, some other chargers and cables down there. Plus, in the main compartment, there is this uh, padded laptop sleeve. But since I'm not carrying with me, uh, my laptop I'm using it for my company issued iPad and some uh, sanitizing wipes 
but still you can easily accommodate here a 15 inch laptop so it's very wide and uh, it has space for uh, really uh, many many things in the main compartment as you can see even to close it it's not a big problem with with one end only <coughs> and then let's move to the sides this one has got a u-shape uh, pocket which goes uh, from the very bottom of the bag almost all the way up and it has got a velcro strap and an ID holder as well then if we open this pouch here there is a lot of space uh, I'm carrying my uh, sunglasses um, disinfecting spray and my flashlight in it and still you have a quite a lot of space to completely fill it to the top so it's very spacious and roomy on uh, the back of the bag we have some other interesting features uh, like uh, the holder for the hook in case uh, your uh, rollerboard has got uh, a hook and you can just uh, hold the bag uh, with this one instead of using uh, the handle then we have another extra pouch here which is quite roomy as well in this one i'm carrying a spare life uh, sorry a spare high visibility um high visibility jacket here and uh, I am carrying uh, also some uh, earplugs. And as well, the bag has got uh, the sleeve where you can just uh, slide it through your uh, rollerboard handle very easily. On uh, the other side, I am just uh, holding some uh, hand sanitizer uh, outside for have it handy, to have it handy. And, and then there is another pocket here, which is open like this, and it has a uh, few pen slots on this side, quite big slots. You can even store two pen into one slot. And then another two little pouches here where I am just uh, storing my license, medical, etc., and my passport plus other company issued document. And this is really easy to open it, even uh, uh, meanwhile you are carrying the bag, even on your shoulder with the shoulder strap. Then let's move to the front. Here we have uh, what is called the main uh, document compartment, which is divided into three sections. We have one section here, which is uh, able to carry like a, a full A4 size board, and it is separated by this divider by the uh, from the rest of uh, of the of the compartment. Then we have a quite roomy main compartment where I am holding my flight board because the company I fly for still has uh, um, paper OFP so we need to carry a conventional flight board and there is another extra compartment here separated by this zipper where I am holding a few face masks both uh, KN95 type and uh, a surgery mask depending on my my duty <laughs> if I'm just going uh, out during my free time I'm wearing the surgery mask otherwise I'm um, like it's mandatory for my company to wear a KN95 or FFP2 mask uh, during flight and then some uh, uh, paper and notebook here and at the very 
front of the bag there is what is called the business organizer still a very high quality uh, zippers and then the main compartment here I have plenty of room for uh, some napkins company ID uh, wet napkins as well here and this should be a padded cell phone holder but uh, with the um, size of the modern cell phone this pouch has become a little bit tight um, I think the maximum size of uh, a smartphone you can store in here is about 5 inch um, yeah 5 inches uh, maximum here uh, the open the opening of the bag should be a little bit wider to allow some kind of extra storage for a 6 uh, or 6.7 inches uh, smartphone here but it's nice to have some kind of padded compartment here as well then we have uh, three more pen slot and another pouch here which goes almost uh, down to the bottom and here I am uh, storing some uh, extra disinfection wipe and uh, there is still plenty of room here for uh, f to be completely full so this is uh, the business organizer then if we want to have a look at the bottom or the underneath of the bag you can see that there are three uh, stripes which comes across uh, the entire section of the bag and they are made of st really sturdy plastic and they uh, are uh, allowing the bag to be a very stable and uh, we are not talking about uh, just uh, um, uh, four feet at the edges of the bag but they are really stable and sturdy uh, material uh, that is uh, like taking the bottom of the bag away from the ground or from the surface where the bag is uh, is just dropped and of course uh, the entire bottom of the bag is reinforced first of all I want to give you so in conclusion, I like this bag uh, a lot, even if I'm not sponsored by Aerocoast and I am not uh, a paid uh, um, supporter of, uh, of this company, I'm just making a, a review on my own. I have been using this bag for uh, almost uh, three years, I think, and as you can see from the video, is still it still looks... Uh, brand new really really nice uh, material and quality of the bag so thank you very much for your attention I hope uh, you all found this video interesting please subscribe to my channel leave comments and uh, see you at the next video thank you for watching